What is up, So Real Gang? How we doing tonight? Let's get into Neek and her baby mama. Neek has gotten back from her vacation and responded to Kaiser's allegations. I'm really glad that she responded because the way he made it seem as if he was doing something other than spending two days with his son. Let's get into Neek's response. I definitely love how she cleared things up respectfully. You know what I mean? She wasn't even trying to be rude about it. And she definitely did not get too in-depth either. And I like that. It's like this it shouldn't even be out there for everyone to know and see. Like she said, you could have sent this to me in a message. You know what I mean? And I definitely feel her on that. Oh, for the weekends, the weekdays. I'm like, fine. He came up with that schedule. like, And I don't have a problem with that schedule. Like, I'm fine with it. I'm like, okay, so why why can't you take him to school? Why what is the big problem with him taking him to school? And he had every excuse in the book why he could not take Kaza to school. Y'all, when Kaza was in he lives in Katy. When Kaza was in school in Katy, I was living in Houston. I had to drive, it wasn't an hour, y'all. It's not an hour. I had to drive 30 minutes every day to take Kaza to school, which is fine. I didn't have a problem with taking Kaza to school that far. It didn't matter to me because that's it, it makes a routine. You wake up early in the morning, baby. You can wake up at 7 30. Just take your kid to school, grab some Starbucks. It gets your day started. I don't have a problem doing that. It's funny because like I said in my last video, it doesn't matter how long it takes for your child to get to school. That's just something you should automatically get up and do. I don't care if it took me an hour or two hours, but 30 minutes and you're telling me you can't fit that into your schedule. The way it's sounding to me is that his baby mother doesn't want to take him to take Kaiser to school. Comment down below if you feel me on that because it sounds like they're sharing a car. Even if they're not sharing a car, it sounds like they can't do nothing without each other. You know what I mean? 30 minutes in the morning time to take your son to school while your other baby mother takes care of the daughter and get her ready and give her breakfast. You know what I mean? That's nothing out of your day. But for you to have a problem like it is messing up your schedule and it's interrupting, you know, what you and your second baby mother have going on is really delusional to me. It's just like I wanted my son in a better school. I wanted him to be able to like his school to be more secure. And Katie, his school was not locked. I feel like anybody could just, I think about crazy shit, so I feel like anybody could have just walked in. It's a school in Houston. It just happened to be in Houston. It just happened to be closer to me, which was fine because when, when Casa was at his playhouse, he wasn't even taking him to school in Katy. So I'm like, okay, I ended up finding Casa another school to go to, which is fine because I was the only one taking Casa to school. I'm the only one paying for school. I, y'all, I don't ask for shit from this man. And this is what really pisses me off. I don't ask for shit. Like it's so distasteful that even when your son is with the father, you still have to get up out of your bed, drive 30 minutes to, just to take him to school. So when she said she's the only one capable, that is what she meant. It doesn't even matter if he's with the father. He still don't take him to school. She's the only one that takes him to school, even if he's with her or not with her. And that is disgusting. It's crazy because Kaiser made it seem like, oh, at his house is discipline, it's structured, it's this and that. If it's all of that, why aren't you making sure your son, your four-year-old is in school? So I don't blame Neek for moving Kaiser's school. It doesn't matter if it was a minute away from her house or an hour away from house. Whatever she felt comfortable with and was right for her and her son. I applaud her on that because you got to do what's best for you, especially when you're one of those mothers that don't even ask the father for nothing but time. You know what I mean? Like he ain't got to do a damn thing for Kaza, but spend time for with Kaza. And, and when he at your house, take him to school. Like, I pay $1,500 a month for my son to go to a great school where they teach him stuff, where the school is very locked down, secure. You got to get through three doors to even get inside of the school. Like, I make sure that his school is... Like A1, my son goes to the best, one of the best like schools in Houston. And this man tried to put it like, oh, he changed it to his school and it's so far away from me. Y'all. Just the fact that this lady had to come on live and pick up for herself and, you know, tell her side of the story is just so distasteful because her son watch YouTube. He has his own channel. So why would you even bring this drama 
to social media knowing everyone is going to have something to say. I think he was just using the situation for clout because like she said, he's complaining about gas money and complaining about this and that when he doesn't even pay for anything for his son. So I guess he was just trying to get some views on his YouTube channel to make some money to take care of his daughter. That's what it sounded like. And then on top of that, him and Lena are saying that they're moving to Austin, Texas, when it's crazy, you complain about taking your son 30 minutes to school, and now you have to drive two plus hours to now see your son for two days. It's crazy. It's the fact that he kept saying he's a great father and he you don't have to ask him to be there in the child's life, but... If she don't ask you for anything, you're not giving anything either. And I find that very disgusting. As a man, a woman should not have to ask you for anything for their child, especially when she's not the only one. You guys were in a relationship before this child got here and you took the honors to be that father and to be in his life. Do your responsibilities. Everything should be 50-50, whether she's asking or not, whether she has more money or not. It's funny because men don't even understand how much a good baby mother lets them get away with because she does not have this man on child support like she stated. She does not ask him for anything. No school fees, no activity fees, no vacation fees, no groceries, nothing. Not even a pair of shoes or clothes to put on his back. And you telling me you had the nerve and the audacity to come online and try to embarrass her as a parent? He should delete his whole YouTube page. It's so sad that she had to show how far his house is from the son's school. And yet, it's only 28 minutes and he's still not taking him. Listen, now I'm mad. I understand how you feel, Neek. I, when he said this online, I'm like, can't be. This nigga can't just be sitting on here lying like this. This, this, this shit is just getting out of hand. I mapped Splain address, the place he stays at right now, from my son's school. Of course, I'm not going to put his address out there, but I did take a screenshot. The shit is exactly fucking 28 minutes away. It's 28 minutes away. Stop trying to make it seem like the school an hour away. Like, oh, you got to spend so much gas. I pay for every activity cost to do in school, every field trip he go with. I pay for his school monthly. I never ask for help. I asked for help one time. This man said he was not paying for it. After that, if I want my son to go to this school, I'm going to pay for it. I don't Let's get into Krishan and her baby mama boo face because at this point, all these men are just giving sassy feminine vibes because as a man, you know you're laying down with the woman unprotectively. There is a 99.99% .99 chance you guys may have a child. So when that woman do get pregnant and do decide to keep the child, why are you men bashing these women and trying to bring them down and say they are less than a woman or even capable of taking care of a child because they're not taking care of you, which is a grown ass man. The rant between Krishan and Blueface did not end yesterday. It continued on today and Krishan did go live and state that she was thinking about getting an abortion because she does not want to deal with this, which I don't agree with abortions, but Oh my God, if I was pregnant for someone like this, honestly, God forgive me, but I may have to swallow that pill and, you know, get rid of that child just because this is not something a woman wants to deal with for the rest of her life. If it's going like this now, imagine if you have that child and this continues on, you know what I mean? If he don't love you now, he will never love you. And it's not saying that, you know, as a mom, you can't do it alone. But I'm a firm believer that a child needs both parents just there. Even if they're not in the same household, it's just amazing. It's just for development, growth. You know, it's just better. But that does not need to say if a child does grow up in a single family home, they're just as better off as well. So I can't take that away from the single mothers that has done this alone without a father. As for us women, if we're going to sleep with someone like this, I'm going to advise you guys, just think about it for the long run. If you think you're going to be a single mother, if it ever gets down to it, it doesn't matter how good of a father he is to his other children, that does not mean he's going to be just as of a good father to you because men tend to pick and choose. 
who they want to treat better and they pick favorites. I think it's disgusting, but this is just how this generation is being raised nowadays. They have no morals. Ladies, if you can save yourself, save yourself. Blueface did write on Twitter and said that he wanted her to get rid of the baby. Please, he would pay 150000 Now, Krishan did respond and say that she was keeping the baby and that was that. Honestly, if she is keeping the baby, I'm going to give her much respect and much kudos to her. Keep your head hell high and just keep God on your side. Definitely. Guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Make sure you comment down below and let me know how you feel.